Very superstitious. Writing on the wall. It's only ball here. I'm very sorry for doing that intro. It is ASMR Cami here. I'm currently sat on a weight bench. That's what I've got. Going to do a bit of work out with that for that week for you. And it's that time of the week, Sunday, when I have a nice reflect and have a lovely bloody ramble. As I enjoy a bloody, a bloody good ramble. You know, it's, it's actually a lot easier just to just have a day of the week where I just talk to the camera, get stuff off my chest, you know. It's easier than talking to another person, just having a chat with the camera. So, uh, yeah. It's like a bloody news thing, this. But, uh, yeah, we, another week has come and gone. There's been ups and there's been downs, you know. And up. This is the first week you could see some friends outside again, so, you know. I had a day where I went to my friend's garden, had a few beverages. The other day, met with five friends. We played some football. I just played football tonight as well. Unfortunately, my team was 2 1, but your boy did score, but we lost, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, just a little ramble again. I suppose like a topic, it's like a podcast, but on my own. Gosh, that sounds very sad. A podcast on my own. We move. But uh, yes. How do you deal with your anxiety slash depression? Now these are subjects I've covered on a couple of occasions. These are subjects I struggle with. But um, obviously you say exercise is a good thing with mental health. Now I think with depression, anxiety, depression in particular, exercise is a phenomenal way not dealing with it but with helping. It distracts your mind. If you do some it, I do definitely think some it engaging like a, an hour gym session boxing football so that truly engages the mind is brilliant for depression you know Tyson Fury says I quote him a lot but yeah schedule you've got to occupy the mind you've got a you know you have to have like a schedule you have to have stuff going along you, know, you can't give your mind too much time to go off go off track and think so, you know, having stuff busy, you know, going out and training straight in the morning, going for a run and that. I do go for a run every morning, but yeah, I think with depression, you know, there was many a times. I think Thursday was a very good example. I woke up very, very low, really down, to be honest with you. And then my friends went trying to go into play football. I'm not joking. I, I felt by the end of it, by after going playing football, I suppose interacting again. Had a phenomenal night, you know. It's just ups and downs with anxiety. I do think it's quite difficult sometimes, you know. With anxiety, it's almost like when stuff comes out of the blue, that's what freaks you out, you know. You almost have to give yourself a minute when something happens, like, um, you know, random phone call. You might get a phone call off someone, and I always had this. I don't, I never used to have this, but now, like. If I get a phone call, I freak, I panic for a second every time I get panic. It's weird, but yeah, I often panic when I get a phone call. Something on the blue happens, you get an email, a serious email, anything. And with anxiety, you just panic about it and stress. And a lot of the, what the main thing that comes with anxiety and depression is like, it is a constant fear of failure and everything. You get anxious for situations because you ultimately think you're going to fail in them. And, you know, half the time, you create scenarios in your head that aren't going to happen. I remember the other uh, couple of weeks back, I saw a friend for the first time in a while. In my head, it was just like, it was going to be dead awkward. Like, I don't know, I just, in my head, it was, wasn't was going to go well. It was just meeting with a friend I've not seen in a while. But it was a great, I had a great time in that. So, you know, your mind does create false, false scenarios now. My anxiety, like something will come out of the blue, an email, a phone call, maybe someone you haven't heard of in a while will reach out and you panic for a second just because it's unexpected. But like throughout life, every day stuff will happen that's unexpected. So with my anxiety, when I'm not expecting some of that, that often freaks freaks me out. Like say I have a day, I have a day where I've planned that I'm playing football all day or something like that. I'll probably end up having a good day because nothing really expected is going to occur but yeah i suppose i've tried i'm just just, just waffling here to be honest with you, you know there's different techniques of dealing with stuff obviously some days you just naturally 
wake up feeling more anxious or down than other days. You know, sometimes there's no specific reason for it. And then days it can be a little bit a little bit tough. Some days everything I feel like I overreact to. My little situations are made far bigger than they are on a day where I'm feeling more anxious. But some days I just smash stuff. Good and bad days, you know, half the week will be good days, half the week will be great days, but you know, if you can try and be productive on them, not so good days. It's a big thumbs up. Now I've got got this weight bench here, I'm gonna start every day with a run and then use that. Anyway, you know, uh just about trying to find ways to deal with anything that's just out half the time. You know, like I've said, some of will you stress yourself up massively over summer and not even being a big deal like so it's about dealing dealing with the unexpected stuff the anxiety side i don't really know I, I, there's a lot of ways online there's like stuff you can do to improve anxiety and depression i even tried mindfulness the other week but it's like that's an ex, it's exactly what i need that's where basically you do you do summer you have to fully be in the moment so like a like a body scan or something you lie down on the floor for 10 minutes as uh, you've got headphones on it's like feel your right foot you know what's that feel like what's what's below it you know move your focus to your left right elbow because mindfulness is teaching you to live in the moment and that is the best way of living if you possibly can to not worry too much i believe 80 percent of the stuff i worry about is Far, far down the line. I used to be like that at college. Like, um, my second year of college, I did struggle quite a bit with anxiety. I was getting more socially anxious and that. And I'd go to, like, a football game on a Saturday. And college was actually um, working on a Monday a lot of the time. But it could be Saturday. I could be worrying about college Tuesday. Which is like, well, why let... You know what I mean? You, it's affecting your Saturday... Tuesday's affecting your Saturday. That shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't allow your mind to do that. So that's what I'm saying. The alternate way of dealing with mental health issues, as Tyson Fury has said, as much as you don't want that, you don't, you know, it does freak you out. Obviously, going into a new week now, and it, it would freak me out to be like, Monday, bang, 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 you could do all this, you could do this, filled with everything, obstacles you're overcoming all day. Tuesday, you're going to do the same, you're going to do the same, but. It's about finding the right balance. It's about not having a day when you're doing nothing productive and your mind is allowed to just... But also at the same time not overdoing it. You know, I suppose some days everything just feels like a massive task if you struggle with anxiety and depression. That is the thing. Everything feels massive. Going to the shop might even feel like a big deal for you. So there's definitely ways of keeping... So I'm like, yeah, I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. I'm just waffling in front of the camera. I'm sort of asking, you know, you yeah, not really. I don't know, I've done two videos on this already and people have shared their experiences and that. But I suppose it's just something I'm going to keep doing on a Sunday. It's having a ramble, just waffling in front of the camera. Uh, it's just a bit interesting, you know. Whilst I'm here, I'm just... Just like the video to be ten minutes plus to be honest with you, so that's what I want to show now. I just have to hold the fart in and I don't want to bloody fart up. So I'll put the hell up. Hey ladies that are watching, you know, I'm sorry, but I'll, I'll do fart. We all do. Now uh oh, I've just lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. Thank you, thank you again for 1k actually, that was actually big, to be fair. Because obviously if you struggle with social anxiety, you go into situ and that's why there's a lot of struggle. Obviously, I'm not a lot of anxiety disorder, but I do struggle a lot with social anxiety. So I never used to struggle with it at school. At school, I thought it was the, the dog's bollocks. I was like, in lessons, getting getting the C fours, one absolute rebel C threes, and that were just loud as out, never shutting up. I suppose college going into more of a it's less strict college, so. You know, they don't really care as much. It just turns into loads of people having banter with each other every day, taking the mick, humiliating each other all the time. Became more and more, um, I forgot what I was going to say, more and more uh, 
socially anxious as a result. Oh yeah, so with social anxiety, I've talked about links to a K. You sort of feel like you go into a lot of situations expecting to be hated. I knew that myself. I went, I went football like. Not so long ago, loads of people there that I didn't know. In the middle of my life, I was just going to bloody think I'm right to toss and not. Just bloody disgraceful language there. And not bloody like me and that. I've been fearing I, within 10 minutes, I was the loudest there. It's like all that fear went away and it just baffles your mind how you can get so worked up for something and your head just expects something to go absolutely awful and then within 10 minutes no, it's just gone nothing's gone wrong at all and you're having a great time so yeah anyway that's why i mean thanks for 1k because i know 1000 people enjoy me just chilling on youtube just having a a bit of a mess about you know the, the youtube is definitely a good part of my evening i'm gonna fart again no 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 hold it in I'm nearly finished now the uh youtube uh, yeah it's, it's good to know that 1k but, but the um 1k people just are happy watching me in the evenings you know it's definitely a good schedule for me my evenings are good now i make a little cheeky video upload it and i never fall on relax then every night that's good but yeah knowing that k like watching me it's a good feeling to be fair you know one thousand people but you don't hate me i suppose so thank you all you're all legends let me know what videos you want to see probably do a haircut video or something tomorrow get back on the proper asmr because the last few videos i've not done proper traditional relaxing videos so i'll get back to you tomorrow with a proper relaxing one hope you're all doing well and have a good sunday goodbye